that is that as sensitive people, we may need, this is something you want to consider, and I've started doing it. Um, one of my spiritual teachers was talking with us about this. And it's simply the concept of grounding, centering, and shielding. Okay? Grounding, centering, and shielding. Okay, so what does that mean? And the idea of doing it every day. Now, it's something I would do if I was going to do certain spiritual practices like shamanic journeying. I would do it. Um, but in a discussion this past weekend, um, a group of us were discussing with, with my teacher about the fact that some of the even more experienced shamanic, like spiritual um, practitioners, felt the need, especially with the way the world is now, guys, okay, let's be honest. Wherever you are, even on the spectrum politically, I mean, you're obviously a spiritual person. You're going to be sensitive. There's a lot of stress that's going on. Whether you think it's because of this or because of that, there's a lot of stress coming in on us. So what I'm suggesting is every morning, okay, to pause for a bit. And this is not necessarily separate from meditation, you guys but it is grounding. I think I'm gonna break this out into three videos, actually. Um, it's so funny because Spirit, I'm like, what am I gonna talk about? And then I just get quiet for a moment and Spirit's like, well, what is happening for you? And then there'll be others who are going through the same thing, right? And, and always brings me a topic. So let's talk about grounding. So it's a three-part process, ground, center, and shield. So today we're gonna to talk about grounding. So grounding, and I'm pretty sure I have a meditation on this. Um, I'll put the link below. It's in my members community, which is free until March 31st. Okay, you can join. I'll put the link below and there is a video uh, that is a meditation that really leads you through this. So to ground means to feel uh, rooted on the earth and balanced. Okay, so there are many different ways of doing this, but some of the main ways are like think of a tree, right? That beautiful vertical tree being, just like us, a human being, there's a sense what you want to ground is you want to send down roots into the earth so that you feel grounded, you feel solidly on the earth. Okay, often spiritual people, we, we're in our upper chakras, we can feel a little like, that's where woo-woo comes from. It, this idea of woo-woo is that we're a little floaty, right? So very important to ground yourself, like first chakra, um, then energy down through your legs and into the ground. Okay, um, so briefly the idea is you could visualize that you're sending down an etheric or an energetic like limb down into the earth. Now for me, interestingly, it's become 40 feet. When I literally feel like I'm on the earth, I imagine no matter how high up I am, I imagine that I'm on the earth and I go down 10 feet, 20 feet and I feel 40 feet for some reason, I feel tapped in, I'll feel energy coming up into my body. So you want to feel rooted into the earth, into Mother Earth Gaia, right? This planet that we're walking on is a living being, okay? The scientists may not be able to sense that, but all spiritual traditions, all spiritual traditions, Africa, South America, um, Europe, you know, before modernization, every single culture in the world felt that the earth itself was alive. Okay? It wasn't just this dead object with living beings on it. It was not inert, okay? And almost universally thought of as a she, as a feminine. So that's grounding. And then you want to also feel that somehow there might be energy coming through your crown chakra. Okay? And so one way to think of it is that your, um, there's a chakra right above your head. You could think of it as like your soul star. But just think of it almost like it, it steps down the energy. So there's a little chakra above your head and then above that you're going into pure consciousness and that up through the center of the universe of our universe and so you could feel that energy is coming in it gets adjusted for you it comes into your body and it mixes with the energy coming up from the earth and they mix harmoniously okay those are some ideas about that concept okay and you could feel that in your body you're pulling in earth energy and energy is coming down from heaven. Now, this is actually a Taoist idea as well. The idea of this downward energy in our meridians. There's the idea that energy comes down and that there's energy that's flowing up. That is in Chinese medicine coming out of Taoism. Um, so it's this idea and it's like you're being almost, 
held from both directions, from above and from below, okay? And you're right in the center, you're connecting spirit down into Mother Earth. So that is grounding. So I'll go through in the next couple videos, okay? So the first step is to get grounded. You could simply, if all that's sort of too complicated, you could simply meditate. Um, focusing on your first chakra would also help you to feel grounded, and I also have a first chakra video. So the, street, the three steps are ground, center, and shield. So I'll go through centering and shielding in the next video. So hope this helps, gives you something to think about and uh, to try and practice. Leave comments below, questions, comments, and I will see you in the next video, which will be my uh, weekly, which will come out on Saturday. Okay, be well. Namaste.